Hi all, I wanted to make a quick video uh, regarding Scanix by Dhan. I was not aware of this, I came to know about this yesterday. And it seems to be a pretty good tool. So let's go ahead and you know discuss that. Before we begin, I would like to mention that uh, this is an educational channel. All content over here is for the sake of education. Kindly read the disclaimer you see on your screen and in the description below. With that said, let's proceed. So you'll not have to do much. Just go to Google and type in ScanX by Dhan and it'll come up. Click on that and it, uh, it has the general login procedure. Uh, you know, you can do via showing your mobile to the screen and all of that. Once you log in with your, uh, uh, with your Dhan ID, this is the screen that will come up. Once this comes up, it gives you a summary of what is uh, basically happening at that point of time. So the bullish, the bearish, so on and so forth. What I like is when you go to the live over here, right now I'm making this video, the markets are not live, but uh, you can, while the markets are live, you know, uh, have this selected and then it will try and show you all the stocks that are coming under these criteria. Let me see if it comes up now. And the market is not up. I think the market needs to be live for this to come up. So it will not come up now. But there are some good things like R3 breakout. Uh, if you all know, I keep mentioning about uh, Fibonacci pivots and R3 breakout when things break out of R3 on top, they generally don't come back and S3 at the bottom, which you will get in the bearish. Once things break down below S3, they don't generally come back. So you're getting all of this over here. What uh, nearing highs, nearing lows, rise and falls. Uh, if there are some unusual volumes in any particular stock that can be seen over here. I tried using it today during daytime to check how it does. It's a little slow. But uh, I think either it's that or I'm not familiar with how to use it properly. But I do find it a very good tool. Uh, there's also a similar tool by Zeroda called Zeroda Streak, I think it's called Zeroda Streak. Yes, yeah, I think it's called Zeroda Streak. So this is on those lines only. So when you click on live, all this comes up. You can the other way you can do it is click on screeners. You have fundamental screeners, all of this over here. You have technical screeners over here. So like I said, if I want to see things that are breaking out of R3 resistance, that means they are very bullish at this point of time. So R3 resistance breakout, once I click on this, I get all these stocks. As you can see, all these stocks today are going up uh, close to 5% or over 5%. And with the volumes also as seen over here, if you click on this, it will show you the least with the highest amount of volume. So you can do that by clicking over here if you want to trade in very liquid stocks, so on and so forth. So these stocks were extremely bullish today. On the same note, if you want to see stocks that are very weak today, S3 support breakout, that means it's broken the support at the bottom. You see over here, these are the shares that did badly today. These are the stocks that, uh, stocks that were not doing well today. And in this also, if you want to select the ones that are trading with very high volumes, which is a good thing, you, you want to be trading stocks that are very liquid. You can just filter it by volume, select this, click it twice, it will show you the stocks that are dealing with the maximum uh, volumes on that particular day. So pretty, pretty useful, I would say in, uh, in that uh, category are oversold RSI. So the stocks it believes are oversold. That's a good screener. Golden crossover. That's a good screener. I think golden crossover is when uh, EMA 50 is crossing EMA 200 on the daily charts. Don't quote me on this. Uh, I'm not uh, the authority on golden crossover. Here it states uh, EMA 50 is above EMA 100 daily, I think. So instead of 200, they're taking it 50 over 100. Yeah, so anyways, you will get the idea. You see stocks over here that are, that are bullish and bearish. What else is there? Momentum stocks. Stocks in momentum. You see, oh yeah, Pyramid Enterprise today was in a great momentum. Went up by 90 bucks or 8.13%. So that did pretty well today. Markson's Pharma. Pretty good. What other technical screeners are there? Overbought RSI stocks. Hmm, That's good. The stocks that are overbought. Starts with Coforge. Okay. So as, as you can see, it's got uh, some very... Uh, deadly uh you know screeners over here this is these are death crossovers where 
200 is cross the 50 and gone below so these stocks are definitely not going to do well but in the dead crossover also it's a mixed bag so it depends on what what the kind of uh, uh, technical screeners you're looking for intraday screeners uh, intraday crossover price gainers low price uh, open low stocks high volume stocks mm, these are stocks that are trading in very high volumes great so so on and so forth there are some beautiful screeners over here and when you are uh, intraday trading you want something that is simple and you know easily do a couple of clicks and it does the filtering out process for you so this seems to be a good one four week high breakout wow tcs hdfc bank mm. hdfc bank has been doing well last two three days so anyways as you pretty much by now have guessed uh what what this is trying to do a pretty handy uh tool i would say for people who are uh wanting some kind of a screener to you know people use uh what is that thing called uh, there's a particular site called yeah people use chart link and write queries and all that so i think uh, we are now evolving to a stage where you don't need to write all those queries this itself does uh, everything for you bearish engulfing bullish engulfing you can i think save your screener and then save it over here so pretty great i would say during live sessions also you can see uh, all the stocks that are doing going bearish uh, or bullish so pretty nice you can create a screener what is this create maybe it's asking you to create your own screener insights so as you inside is just showing you a heat map so as you can see guys i mean i'm also not too familiar with this but what i certainly know is uh, this is a good tool that can be used to your benefit because uh, out of so many stocks if you want to filter out and uh, you know if something can filter out things and then show it to you why not use it bulk block deals also is showing you over your F fno band stocks wow amazing so i find this tool really good i'm going to start using this uh, moving ahead i didn't know that something called scanx is there by dhan so now that i know it uh i i think uh, even news uh you know it's um, and this news is 24 hours and even at like if there's some good news that comes out at like 2 a.m it, it it'll be coming out at that point of time it's not during done working hours only but so last night i was surfing this at about 132 at night and you know there was news still updating at that point of time so you can see over here news also it's showing over here now and then maybe every two hours it's uh good to check on the news if it's uh negative news it makes us a uh, negative face over here neutral face is there a happy one i'm not able to see a happy face. yeah yeah the happy face over here what else is happy u.s government awards 7.86 billion to intel for chip manufacturing so that's happy news for intel so it shows by the face over here also on the right hand side whether it's sad news neutral news or happy news uh, what else company stock news campin home six per share interim dividend so it's like this lot of stuff over here that you know you uh, just by doing a few clicks you get to know uh, which you otherwise would have not known i mean it's a great way to keep up with whatever happening in the market through the news section and through the screener section you can just uh, quickly go through stocks whether you want to go long or short like uh, i would either go in for a r3 breakout if i'm buying or a s3 support breakdown if i'm uh shorting so for me these two will be important uh, i would be using if i was using i would for me this would be the two uh, that i'll be using the most because i know from my experience once r3 breaks out on top then the stocks generally don't come back and s3 breaks down then it does not really come back into the range again so for me if i was trading these two will be important but like i said do your own research uh spend some time with this software and uh, you'll probably get to know more about how things work and uh, bring it into your uh, you know work profile and uh, find creative ways of using it i think it's a useful tool uh, given to us by dhan 
and I see significant value in it. All right, guys. On that note, I'll end this video. So it's Canex by Dhan, by the way. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your family and friends. Please give our videos a thumbs up. Click on the like button so that we are motivated to make more videos for you. If you're already a subscriber, consider becoming a member by clicking on the join button. Also, subscribe to our free Telegram channel. The link is given in the description in all our videos. By the way, trading view black friday sale is on it's on for another three days it's the best time to buy trading view you get 70 percent discounts right now uh, every year i renew my subscription during black friday sale i would suggest the same for you my referral link is given in the description in all my videos if you go via that link if you click on that and then buy the uh, trading view package i suggest buying the premium package uh that is the most value for money package there's something called i don't know what the first one is called and then there's a plus and then there's a premium always go in for the premium that's the best value for money and during the sale it's uh the cheapest uh, during the course of the whole year it costed me 21,240. it'll cost you the same but if you go via my link then you get a few credit points i get a few credit points that we can probably renew next year all right so if you're or if you've always wanted to buy trading view and you found it too expensive now is the time to buy and every year always renew your subscription during the uh, black friday sales which comes generally uh, on the uh, in and around november in the second or third week of november all right guys on that note i'll end this video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye